<laughs> you see it. You see it. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got it though. What's going on guys, it's your boy Shimon here back with a new video and I've been playing with Windows 11 for the past couple of days and it's insane. It's so smooth. It's actually like it's been released. So this is a leaked version. You know, I did my thing. I had to do a couple, you know, digging. Probably some not so good stuff to get this, but it's still working. I installed it on my Asus Zephyrus Duo 15. So this is a RTX 2070 Super Graphics card and also an Intel i7 10th generation CPU inside. And today we're gonna see if we could play some games smoothly without any issues on this brand new leaked version of Windows 11. If you're excited, don't forget to smash the like button, drop a like on this video, um, subscribe if you're new because it's about to get fun. So any further ado, let's go. Also, I know you guys might be asking about this wallpaper. So this is my brand new wallpaper packs that I'm gonna release. So before I start, I just wanna quickly ask you guys, is it good or not? So this is the first one I have so far. And I also have it over here on my iPhone as well. So that's how it looks on the iPhone. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So quick look to add before I drop, let me know what you guys think, should I drop this or not? And if you didn't cut my previous wallpaper pack, it's called Motions. I'll leave a link down below in the description. But yeah, let's go ahead and play some games on the brand new Windows 11. All right guys, so here we have it. Quick overview of Windows 11, super snappy. Everything runs smooth. I'm running this at 300 Hertz on this um, laptop right here because the screen is 1080p 300 Hertz, no drop frames. You know what I mean? Like the sounds, everything is nice. I love all the new widgets they have, the action center. Everything just looks nice and clean. Like honestly, and I love how you have the taskbar in the middle right here, very organized. You have this new widgets over here on the side. You have the weather, everything is just snappy. Like it's really good. But yeah, enough of that. We're gonna jump into some games. And the first thing we're gonna try to play is Fortnite. Let's see how it feels and runs. So I just got an error that I'm supposed to update my graphics driver, which I'll do. Like I think I'll just update it right now actually. All right, so this is the latest driver right here. Let's just go ahead and download that. Let's see if it even works. Express installation. All right, all done. Now back to Fortnite. All right, so before we jump in, these are all my settings right here. So you guys can see it. I'm rocking 1080p since the screen is 1080p. Um, all the settings on low performance mode because you know I like to have that smooth FPS trying to get up to that 300 FPS. But we're gonna jump into a, a solo game real quick. Let's see how we let's see if we can get a kill. Alright guys, so over here in the lobby, you can see it's kind of laggy. I'm not gonna lie, but right now it's kind of smooth. This is the first time I'm playing the season of Fortnite, guys, so bear with me. Alright, let's 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 try to get some quick quick action right, right here. I'm gonna turn V-Sync on and see if it, it feels better. V-Sync, let me turn that on. Motion blur off. Apply and test. Doesn't feel bad. So, it definitely feels a little bit better when you have V-Sync on. We can't find nobody. Says the guy that lands in nowhere. Oh, I suck. I suck. Oh my god, bro. Let's go again. I'm actually a controller player, guys, so just so you know. Oh, I got a spaz. And this gun don't play. Yeah, America don't be there. Yeah. All right, we go again. I honestly just feel like using my controller at this point.
the llama is moving bro what I got a kill. No! Bro, all right, okay. All right, guys. <laughs> Moral of the story, I suck, but as you can see, Windows 11 runs good with Fortnite. No issues, no complaints. On to the next game. All right, now onto a game that we actually could play, you know, a real game. We're gonna play some Valorant. Let's hop into some Deathmatch to see how it runs first. But you know, you can see full screen 1080p, all the limits, FPS, all that stuff, 300, blah, blah, blah. Graphics quality, everything's on low, improved clarity on. The game just overall feels better on low graphics, but of course, if you wanted to, you could pop it up to high, but you know. Barely made that. Let me see. I feel like I'm not on the right DPI settings. Let's see what we're on right now. We're actually on 800. That still rocking around 120 FPS. There's no delay. It feels so smooth. Everything feels good. Like, I don't know what to say. It feels like I'm on Windows 10. No one's popping up. As soon as I turn, I die to my right, watch. Okay, one. That's one. Give me two real quick. Two. Take that. Three. Give me four. Number five. Oh, almost. Bad spawn, it's all good. One, two, three. Woo! We're doing good right there. Yeah, guys, so that was Valorant, and in all honesty, that played really smoothly. Like, there were no issues, no bugging, nothing glitching, everything works perfectly fine. So this is what I wanted to see. Would COD work well? I mean, it's still compiling the shaders and all that weird stuff, but so far, man, like, this is just like a regular update. Everything just works perfectly fine. All right, all my settings right here, most on low, some on medium. All right, let's jump in. So, okay. My sensitivity definitely too high. Hey, look how these guys are playing, bro. Oh yeah, get up out of there. Get up out of there. There we go, got the W, let's go. All right guys, so there we have it. All games are running very smooth on Windows 11. Who'd have thought? And by the way guys, if you figure if you figure out how to get this for yourself, just make sure you don't download this on your main device. You don't know what could be in this files or if it's the official leaks or whatever, but just make sure you don't put this on your main device. If you do, make a partition so you know, you don't corrupt your files and everything. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I think Windows 11 is looking really nice. Not too many like crazy new features, but aesthetically it looks good. I love the rounded corners, the new sound effects that it has, some small animations jumping in and out of folders and going into um, split screen view, all that stuff. Yeah, it's really nice. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. As always guys, love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.